situation has become intolerable and it has to end. Approaching two weeks in the border blockade at the Coots Crossing in southern Alberta, something Acting Minister of Justice Sonia Savage says has crossed the line. She says it has severely inconvenienced drivers, prevented commercial goods from reaching their destination, and has a potential to obstruct emergency vehicles. Those participating in this illegal blockade could potentially face charges or action under an, any number of laws, including the Federal Criminal Code the Provincial Traffic Safety Act, and the Criti Critical Infrastructure Defence Act. The RCMP say they are approaching the Coots border blockade with caution, wanting to find a safe and peaceful resolution. We are investigating. There will be charges, and this does not end when the road is cleared. He also explained why police haven't towed away the vehicles, saying they have yet to find a towing company that is willing to assist with the dismantling of the blockade. However, he says the situation has improved, stating that there are approximately 50 vehicles at the border, down from 250 units that were there at the start. After some progress was made in opening lanes, protesters brought traffic to a stop again Monday night. Coots Mayor Jim Willett says vehicles are slowly getting through on Highway 4 again. It was uh, re-established going north there was some hesitation getting trucks moving again south but right now there is commercial traffic going both directions in calgary jasmine vicurious city news